What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here. We are back with more Emberfell Whispers from the Stars. This is our hundredth episode, hundredth uh, uh, session that we have recorded. Uh, of course, I, sp I split it for um, for YouTube purposes, uh, chunky uh, segments. But this is technically our hundredth session uh, for the uh, Whispers. So yeah, that's uh, pretty awesome. I'm of course your GM, your DM for the night, Jumbo Thick, joined by half. Uh, of the cast and crew for a hundredth episode. Fortunately, the other two couldn't make it tonight, but you know we will uh, soldier on because the show must go on. With that in mind, let's go ahead and do brief introductions. Let's start off with uh, Doobie Two Hundred Nine. Oh, it's a me. I play Tristan Burrell, a high elf time wizard. Uh, his best friend Zoom. With his best friend, Zune. Mm, indeed. Let's slide on down to Andrea. Well, Andrea, I play Zune, um, a drow bard with his frenemy, Trist. Frenemy. There we go. I like it. I like it. And then last but not least for tonight, Jumbo Smooth. Hello, everyone. I am Jumbo Smooth. I play Rogar, son of Amu. He is a... Seven foot five, three hundred pound dragon more, something like that. Four hundred pound, something like that. He's up there. He's huge. Uh, he's he's a barbarian. Uh, he's he's white scaled. Uh, he's got breath attacks and lightning gun, javelin of lightning. <laughs> and he's got a movable rod now. You know. It's got he, he he technically he always had the movable rod. Let's be honest. That veteran scarred rod that he's been Thank carrying you. the entire campaign. It, Regardless, though, uh, last we left off, the um, crew here, I refuse to use the name, the name that Dan came up with now from here on, the crew of the White Scale Band has um, found themselves deep within the Underdark, below Silver Jirai, um, deciding out of the goodness of their hearts to take on a quest to retrieve the Dark Marshal, a figure of great import within the city and the man responsible for keeping the deep drow under thumb and under watch. Um, we have yet to come across any of them as of yet, but perhaps we will. The crew, following a trail as well as a map given to them by another adventuring party, ended up in a strange and bizarre ancient city. Um, one that they believed to be um, mythical, even. Uh, Clay Sarai, or Clay Sarai. Clay, I'll say Clay Sarai, that's what I've been saying. It's elven, it's spelled weird. Um, a city of... Is he frozen of... on your end? Does anyone else see a frozen? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! Love it. Oh, what, what a picture. Are we uh, back? Are we back? <laughs> oh, no, okay, there he is, there he is. No, what is happening? Uh oh, are we are we good now? For now, I think yeah. so far. Fuck, still good, right? <laughs> Damn it! We're just, we're just we're just going. We're just doing this. We're just doing this. When did where when did right. I freeze on? Uh, place place or I place or I yes yes. All right. Is it still choppy right now? Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell because you're stopping. Uh, I don't know. Gamer. Can uh, you hear me well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, as long as, as long as as long as you can hear me, we'll keep we'll, we'll continue. Um, place or I, the ancient city immemorium, um, so supposedly the birthplace of the elves. We will we will find out. Uh, regardless, though, you delved into the city looking for the Dark Marshal, ham having been captured by some unknown force. You got. Uh, hints and whispers and little tits and tats as to what actually had taken him you developing the idea that it was probably deep trow um, but in a fashion that none of you had ever heard of following this trail you were led to a strange creature within this um, almost tomb like city creature with a singular eye that then tipped you off to a old 
acquaintance of Rogar that was possibly within the uh, the city confines. Some kind of deal was being made. You decided to shelve your investigation of the Dark Marshal in favor of uh, pursuing this thread, which led you to what you can assume to be some kind of temple structure, maybe um, maybe some kind of hall of some kind. Um, it's hard to tell, it being so old and so worn. Regardless, though, within, you found uh, Sensu, the serpent, a green dragonborn that is, appears to be much more than just a simple dragonborn, if her actions were to be uh, taken into account, making some kind of deal with a with another man that turned out to be a deep dragon that was um, polymorphed into a elven shape. You battled both of them. It was a very long, drawn-out, tough fight, ultimately killing the, the dragon, driving Sensu away, as well as slaying the dragon's minions. But not before they could slit the throat of one of the, uh, the deep delvers and use its, his life essence to unlock a vault door that was in this structure. Um... It was at this point that another uh, figure from the past, one Kezon Thunderstrike, made his appearance, demanding the Orb of Tindalos from Trist, with the party rather quickly um, dispatching this individual, despite his uh, best efforts, um, bringing you into contact with an eldritch being at some point, which uh, may have marked you in who knows what ways. And um, ultimately, you killing this 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 man, laying him low, only to have him message Trist moments later from his lifeless corpse. You, there, there's no telling. You spoke to a few of the dead creatures and the dead men that you had gathered, and then ultimately delved into the open vault door, only Zoon and Trist entering after a warning was inscribed on the vault, stating that only those of, uh, paraphrasing, uh, the proper lineage could um, delve into the vault unmolested. You found riches and artifacts of immemorium um, within this vault. Relics from a forgotten time. Things that people have forgotten how to create, how to maintain. Priceless paintings, artifacts, books at your disposal. You gathered a fair number of items, um, one of them being a golden helm amongst many rods and potions and all kinds of things of very powerful and uh, unique nature. Luckily, um, despite Zune's more chaotic tendencies, uh, he was not sucked into a mirror that was um, chained and warded that looked like it was going to uh, pull him inside and he was going to be the plaything of whatever was in there. Um, but we, we, we left that alone. We escaped. And as we did, gathering ourselves, rested for the night, so everyone should be long rested if you have not already. You, Del, decided to, okay, we're going to pick up the trail for the Dark Marshal. You had headed outside of the cathedral-like structure, realizing that you are in, in this chasm that is the city. Um, from what you can tell, unless there are multiple chasms, the city appears to be built on a fissure in the earth. One side and then the other, with bridges connecting the, the sides. And it goes down floor by floor, as far as any of you can see. Also upwards, This likewise. You were on the floor above this. There is a 200 foot difference from the ground floor to the next floor up. Um, you had previously circumvented this with Velry's assistance. A rope, you had 200 feet of rope. She can fucking spider climb just innately because she's a vampire person um, since level one 
Uh, so, <laughs> so able to bypass a lot of these other treacherous trips. But as we head in, you guys have a problem before you. How would you like to solve this issue? Velry is at your disposal. Um, I have her sheet up, so I will be playing. Or no, Rogar has her sheet up. I will be playing um, Resire for the night as well. Wasn't there chanting? Oh yes, the things. chanting. Yeah, you begin. You begin to hear strange chanting. Um, you know what? This would be a good time because I hardly ever ask for this. I would like a nature check from the lot of you. Never get to roll this one. I know. It doesn't happen often. I'll roll for Rezaia. Yes. He has plus zero for this. He always rolls well. He got an 18. All right. So we've got a damn 23 for Zune. Well, no, uh, 19 because I was rolling at disadvantage. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, man, I forgot. You got everyone at disadvantage. Okay. All right, I'll do one more time. One more time. Yeah, let me roll him one more time too. Actually, oh, I still got a fifteen. Trist, you got a nineteen. Yeah. Rogar's got maybe a twenty. Did you? Uh, no, my first roll was lower, so that would be okay. A eleven. And okay, then eleven. Bellary's so got an, is an, an eight. eight. And yeah, well, don't don't even worry about what, rolling that again. It's not gonna matter. Oh, yeah, you already did. Okay. Regardless, yeah, though, yeah. so we've got Zune with a 19, and also Trist with a 19. So with a 19, our elves, perhaps it's it's their heightened, you know, they're, those those pointed ears. They're just honed in. Valerie's too busy snacking on something that she, she scooped up on her way out. Some of the refuse left from the hooked whores that attempted to find you. The chanting, the reverberations, they're almost drum-like in their um, in their nature, like the like a pounding, it's consistent. Trist and Zune, you can tell that these don't sound like human voices. Something about them sounds more bestial maybe alien even it's hard to tell but they don't it doesn't the 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 tone that's being emitted if it's not coming from a, like an instrument or something it is not something produced from the vocal cords of a human creature humanoid creature anything written about this that zune would recall from his mom's journal um hmm Why don't you give me a history check, Zune? We'll see. I, I would give you advantage, so it'd just be just a straight roll for you straight. right now. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, Zune, you would know that um, from the study of your uh, of your mother's journal, the Matron's journal, um, before giving it to Rogar, since you know he's trying to study up and uh, work on his physique. The your mother towards the later sections um, talked about some of her her downtrodden companions that were exiled from the city, and she mentions that in their desperation um, and in all of the devout followers of the dead goddess Law reached out and asked for something anything to save them while they were cast out from normal society left to the depths and when they did something was said to have answered something powerful old far older than any god or goddess of the material and when it answered all it asked was for a a binding a symbiotic relationship, one might call it. And it was through this symbiosis that the exiled, as she refers to them, have survived in the Underdark for this long. 
And you would know that this symbiosis is also part of the research that Rogar is reading, the ways to enhance one's physical aspect. And it is said that through this symbiotic coupling that a exiled is able to take on the form of something more close to the entity that is their benefactor, their patron. So guys, can we just teleport back up to the top? Hmm. Please. Uh, I'm a little so it. close to our final No, we're good. I think we've done enough. I think I think we've done enough. I think we're good. Let's just go back up to the top. Uh, oh, oh. Zun, it, 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 is, uh, it is okay to, to be afraid. Resire will protect you with my golden helm. Resire, you, you rarely heal me. Can we just go back up to the top? Today is a new day. You will be healed from head to toe. In fact... <laughs> Let me cast this great spell. Greater restoration upon your person. <laughs> you can remove one more Thank point you. of exhaustion. So. Thank you. Um, guys, I was reading my mom's journal for a while, you know, when we were in prison. Um, after I got my eye returned. Well, there's... Whatever we're hearing, I think it might be a mix of that horrible thing we keep seeing that is somehow related to what you've been engaged in, Trist. And um, it seems like they may have made a pact of some kind with it, where they are one. I don't know what all that means, but it sounds gross and I don't want anything to do with it. Sounds perfect. Sounds just like a cult. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Sounds like a gross martial cult. needs us. Yeah, it, it does. And I think he was, what, up there? Like, isn't that what the one-eyed guy said? We went the opposite direction? He referred, to, he basically referred to the initial trail that you guys had discovered when you mm -hmm. first entered into the city um, that you decided not to pursue because you saw the creature. Since um, a, well, no, you didn't. Not, not since you saw the oh. one-eyed creature across the chasm and decided to investigate that instead. And you had not yeah. had time to go <laughs> back. Let's teleport back. So heading that way towards mm -hmm. where the where we thought the route was yes. is the same way as the voices? Yes, it is. Okay. At least, as far as with, with a 19 from Tristan Zoom, yeah, you can definitely tell that's where it's coming from. Oh, uh, well, then I retract everything I just said. Um, I think the Dark Marshal is, he, he seems. Oh, damn it. Okay. Fine, let's go save the Dark Marshal. But I don't know what we're about to see. I think we're about to. I don't think this is going to end well for us. That's all. Valerie says, sounds fun. And uh, runs and grabs Zoon uh, and starts to <laughs> run up the wall. Uh, and toward the sounds. <laughs> she, will, she will have the 200 foot of rope that you guys had um, tied together to get down here to begin with. As she climbs, um, Zoon, there's a harrowing moment where you're like, you're almost like a, like a koala baby, like latched on her front. Oh, yeah. Because she's on the ceiling, scuttling like, like, a, like a yes. like a like a she's spider. Fine. You're just like, ah, <laughs> like trying not to fall off. And she's like, hey, hey, hey. climbing across the roof. And it, it takes her a little bit. I mean, it's still a 200 foot climb, so it takes her a, a few minutes, which is ridiculously impressive um, yes. for any normal person. And she climbs to the edge, and as she she ventures up to the edge, Zune. And Velry need to give me a perception test as they get to the edge to the next floor. Perception. Probably not very 19 good for, for me. Zoom. Not bad. No, 20. 20, excuse me. Yeah. 15 for Velry. 15 for Velry. That's still that's still pretty pretty damn good. So okay. Zoom. Nice. Knowledge, Zoom. You know, I just wanted to say that, you know. What was that? Uh, no, I've been, I don't, I've been watching weird documentaries. 
koala knowledge, and they are exactly. riddled with chlamydia. Yeah. That is yeah, they are. Disturbing. Most of them. Thank you, Thank you for that. That's the cute. Welcome, um, now you know. Koalas have chlamydia. <laughs> They're Lord. trying to heal them, though. They're trying to figure out how to heal them. That is deeply disturbing, and I don't enjoy that. <laughs> but it's how they digest um, the eucalyptus, but okay, go on. As, as soon as Velry make it to the edge of the, the second um, the second section. Zune more attentive as Velry's more focused on climbing. Velry stops. Mm -hmm. And Zune, you you perk up and open your open your your bard like ears. Those elven ears. It's the, dr the drumming sounds music. sounds more clear as you get up to this to this level. In addition to that, Good rhythm. you see that there are almost like waves of reverberation that are that you can almost visually see from a, maybe a mile or so down the chasm. Um, you can see them through the dim lights that are still lit around parts of the city despite its ancient um, origins. It looks almost like waves of like force that are emanating down the chasm, and they slow and they slowly get thinner and thinner until they just disperse the nothingness. But yet you see them, um, even from this far away. Hmm. And that's that. Velry just kind of sets you down, grabs, holds the rope, throws it down the edge. It tumbles down. Allowing Rogar, Trist, and Rizaya to scale unhindered. Trist is it's a it's a difficult climb for Trist, but he's been, you know, he's been working out. Um he's he's got this. He's got this. <clears throat> so no check required when you use a rope to climb and you're not in immediate danger. So you guys are just able to to scale it 200 feet, no problem. Phil re, um recoils the rope, places it in her pack along with the uh several um um i should just make them just like uh telescopic javelins uh yeah. so that they don't just appear out of nowhere <laughs> and then she places away cool. and you guys are on the next section now are we moving towards the disturbance um because if we are you will have to cross a bridge to get to the other mm -hmm. side the bridge we came across initially initially yes the hook tours. yeah mm -hmm. um, um i can't quite tell it looks like i might have cast comprehend languages last session on tris it would have been just after we had gotten up because i see where i have a spell slot marked off in okay. that area I, you did. I don't know if i did or not. okay i did thank god did i cast that yeah. on trist I think I did. Uh, yes, oh, you did. It was okay. why you guys were exploring the vault. Can we understand anything that's going on? It doesn't appear to be... Well, you know what? Hmm. You don't understand it for sure, Zoom. Trist, how long does Comprehend Languages last? Is it eight hours or just one? If it's one hour, I'm going to say that it's worn off by now. Now, if you want to cast it again, you're more than welcome to. would like to. If it okay. sounds like speech, I would yeah. want to know what there they're is, saying. There is an aspect of speech to it. Do it. Um, are you listening yourself or are you casting it on Trist again? It would be on Trist because he has higher intelligence, so he would Trist, have better. Yeah. Zune, go ahead and whispers into your ear again. I'm not exactly yeah. sure what, what the whisper Wait, is. Mama. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Regardless, though, as, as as he whispers in your ear, suddenly you begin to comprehend, and you your mind does that thing oh. where it starts clicking in place, and you begin to understand all speech, which I might add would be somewhat disturbing because you would mm -hmm. be able to understand the 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 strange squeaks of rats and various other animals like crawling around and whatnot. So. It would be slightly odd, um, but you begin to hear that there is a not only a cadence to to the to the language, but there's also some some words that you can make out. Trist, 
some of them are nonsense nonsensical um they sound uh, they they sound made up they sound like spell language but the ones that you hear repeated several times over is is we return you you hear that more than once said trist Keep chanting, we return you, and I will start walking towards it. Okay. As you begin to walk towards it, the bridge that you guys first ventured over is still intact, despite it being impossibly thin um, towards most of its its structure. And you saw the vast, almost horde of hooked whores that were nesting beneath it. Um, the amount of weight on this structure was anything this thin built in the modern age would have broken um, <laughs> by a long shot. However, still holding strong. Um, several cracks, several holes in the structure, but the same as when you first entered. As you move across the bridge, you then pick up the initial trail. It was an old dried trail of blood spatter that led down this section of the uh, of the city. And just to remind you, the halls of this city are, they look, it looks like a street's thoroughfare. You, you're, you're seeing just nothing but, so on this side of the, of the, um, of the, the city, you're basically seeing to your left would be the bridge and then just empty space um, before you get to the other side. And to your right would be supposedly buildings most of them are crumbled and destroyed. Some of them are still relatively intact. Um, all of them not seen use in a bygone era. Um, of course, there's also copious amounts of webs over most of the buildings on this section. Specifically on the one that you made your way into this city from. For reasons. As you begin to venture down this thoroughfare, um, somewhat dimly lit in sections, about every two or three hundred feet, you'll find a lamp, uh, some kind of arcane lamp still working, uh, despite its um, its its long uh, lack of maintenance or any any other upkeep. Utilizing that plus most of your natural dark vision. You walk forward, looking through the buildings, unsure of what could be watching you, the chanting getting louder and louder to the point where you are almost deafened. And it's at this point that I will need all of you to make perception tests at disadvantage. Go ahead and roll for Razaya. Um, I'm at the re-roll. One of those. Oh, Bam. Sorry. All right, so I've got a 14 a for Zoom. I got seven. A seven. For Trist. seven for Trist. 13 for Velry. Right now. 11 for Resire. Uh, Rogar. Eight for Rogar. Okay. So Zoom coming in with a 14. Not bad, not bad. Now with a 13, I need to look at this to make sure. They don't have stealth. The rest of these do, though. Let me roll. Roll for one of them. You are some lucky motherfuckers is all I can say yeah I rolled I rolled two natural ones for their stealth checks um, and then the other one was was low so 
somehow, despite the reverberation and almost being deafened by the the like force of these these words, as you get closer, it's almost like getting painful. Your ears are starting to ring. But somehow, it looks like um, uh, Zoom has picked out something ahead. Almost like you sense uh, a change in the tempo. Like something is occupying space. It's that, that musical ear that you have honed all these years. And you can sense that there's something in front of you. Closing quickly. Giving all of you enough time should you choose to take cover. Or you could always charge forward. I am going to motion for everyone to take cover. Choice is yours. Well, okay. we'll give it a try. Take cover. All right, Rosaya is going to make a still check at disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> oh. He gets a five. It's sad because he would have had a natural I'm 20. Use, I'm using my last luck to, to try again. Sure. <laughs> I did a short straight roll for Valerie. Okay. Did you get the cloak? Yeah. So 17 for me. All right. 17 for Zune. 18 for Valerie. Five for five. Trist. Five for Resire. And 11 for Rogar. It's. It's pretty bad. I, gotta, I wasted my luck. perceptions on that, you know. I got. I got to use the. I got to. Uh, I got to do the average. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add these. Right. And I'm gonna do the average. Fuck. Because it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And then we always try to stealth, and we always fail. We're this time. No, it didn't help. That does not help. All right, so you guys have a average of an 11. Stealth check. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see what their passive is. As the entities begin to move forward. All of you taking cover in one of the nearby dilapidated buildings. Um, Not one that you can actually get inside, just one that's kind of like uh, fallen apart and bits of its its frontal structure has like tumbled down into the street, giving you some, some rocks and some piles of debris to kind of hide behind. You take cover and you kind of like look out. You watch as ten individuals are moving at a quick place pace down the street. You see them moving. The chanting is still going on. The reverberations. Um. You, you see them, but you don't hear them making sounds as they move. And all of a sudden, they stop in their tracks about 30 or 40 feet from the lot of you. They stop and they look up. And as they look up, you see something flying above. It's about the size of, there, there are actually two of them. They're about the size of a, a, a man. These gargantuan, almost beetle-like wings, four of them, beating quickly, almost like a hummingbird. The strange drumming uh, sound that you heard is reverberating off of them. And as they stop, they look like, they almost look like 
beetles wearing a man's skin. Their arms are this strange brown color with almost like like cockroach-like claws coming out of their fingertips. They have what... uh, They have a collection, almost like a proboscis growing out of the front of what should be a head, as well as a... I wouldn't even call them eyes. I would just call uh, three sets of three holes in their in the tops of their heads. Instead of... Um, they have one set of normal arms and then a second set of smaller, almost like razor-like limbs. And then their feet or their legs also end in a razor-like um, appendage, almost like a... Uh, like a... Uh, what do they call those? Like a um, crane mantis. That's their legs like end in those uh, scythe-like hooks. They have a an insectoid-like abdomen and then a bulbous-looking tail that comes down to a sharpened point um, that looks like it is prehensile and somewhat moves. As they are floating up there, the drumming gets louder, specifically targeting just the five of you and i need all of you to give me a constitution saving throw oh that's close i think i have an idea all right 17 nine for zune now let's see here All right. Um, ooh. Oh, you would have... Well, no. Yeah, you would have... Uh, do you have... You have a disadvantage on saves right now, don't you, Zoom? You would normally have advantage on this because of what... Because of your... Because you're an elf. I hate elves. Um, so uh. you are instead... Instead, you just get that one roll. Trist, if you want to roll again, you Which can. Be a nine. You, you, yeah. you succeeded, so it doesn't matter. But you can right. roll again if you'd like. Let me confirm. I'm at three points of exhaustion. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 16. Yeah, do you have disadvantage on saves right now, Zoom, at three points? I think you I think do. So, right? I think third is. I think, I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think that's third what it is. Yeah. Saves, yeah. saves yeah. and attacks. So, unfortunately, uh, Zoom, this it takes hold okay. despite your elven mind. That's okay. The alluring thrum of the chanting of this thing's wings. She's got a good rhythm, you know? Grabs a hold of you. And Zoom begins to walk. Zoom stands up and walks <sighs> over the edge towards where the creatures are hovering. No, no, he's gonna try to grab over her. the chasm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Vel- Vel- he's gonna try to grab her. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say that we are going to go ahead and just roll initiative. <clears throat> Um, questions while we're looking at the uh the crowd of of cultists and then the two beetle-like creatures Mm -hmm. do we see anything else as far as like um uh elven like a dark marsh perhaps so (laughs) it is point of note the the contingent of people that you see they're draped in strange like these these purple and black um, like cloaks, concealing possibly leather and, and chainmail beneath. They appear to have the purplish bluish tinge of skin of drow. Mm. However, they have different features. Um, some of them have empty. They don't have eyes. They have those the same kind of structures that you see from the thrumming creatures. Like where their eyes should be, there's just six vacuous holes in their heads. Um, a few of them have uh, a second set, second sets of arms that are grown out from their sides. But for all intents and purposes, they are they look more close to a normal drow shape. But other than that. 
Um, you don't see anything else as of right now. And there are 10 of these yeah. individuals. Plus the, the two creatures flying over the chasm that are tempting Zoom to his death. Okay. Let's go ahead and we are starting our combat as you have stumbled into the path of a deep drow patrol. So, first in initiative, Zoom. You are, I, let me see if you get a save from this. I don't think you do. Nope. You get to make the save at the end of your turn. So, Zoom. So, I'll make a save. Uh, so, but, well, before you do that, you walk further. You get to the edge, the precipice of the mm-hmm. chasm. You're just and you're just walking like you're going to walk off the edge, um, as it's if just... you're and you're almost enraptured by the thrumming noise. It's like you want to get to it, and they are dangling themselves off the edge. Uh, go ahead and make me another Constitution saving throw soon. <laughs> Mm. 16? 16. Yeah. Straight throw, right? Or, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And because yep. it's 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 a charm is what you you and Tris get an advantage on. Yeah. Zoom. As you get to the precipice of the edge, you 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 your tippy toes, like a rock gets pushed over the side and you just it just falls into emptiness. Indefinitely, possibly. And something snaps you out of it. Perhaps it's Velry calling for you, but you, <gasps> and you realize what you were doing and you have broken free of the alluring thrum. So I missed a note and no, uh, can I go with that? All right. Great. That will then oh bring me to the deep emissaries, the flying oh. creatures. <laughs> As they, as they, as the as the, the right thrum the of like language, um, as mm. they are, uh, as they are moving, they they look down, and you all hear within your mind. They must not disturb. The Queen Mother, remove them all. We are using As... seeming too, so that doesn't seem to matter at all to them. It does Damn. not. Uh, you well, don't get the idea seek. that these creatures don't have eyes. Um, they are not seeing. They are sensing with other uh, abilities. So the emissaries, the deep emissaries, are going to move at this point. The first one is going to fly down towards Zoom and use, utilizing its its talents, it's going to try to rip into him. All right, Zoom. First attack is uh, 13, misses. Another 13, misses. The last one, however, is a 24. Which I'm Silvery barbs. Going. Silvery barbs, okay. Hey. Um, now it's a natural 20th soon. Well, Good luck. There's no save on that, is there? It just um, happens, I, right? I, I think it just happens, look. yeah. Yeah, it, it just happens, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it just happens. Yeah. Instead? Yeah, instantaneous. Yeah, instead it is going to be a, I rolled another 16, so that is going to be a 22 to hit. All right, yeah. Sorry, Zoom. Well, that's fine. I'm going to... You're going to take one hit for 13 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. As it tries Mm -hmm. to rake you with its like uh, talon-like, like feet-like limbs, as it tries to slash through you, you dodge two. The third one rakes across your back, um, cleaving blood onto the the walkway behind you. 
it then pulls away and then flies up 20 feet into the air. You do technically get an opportunity attack if you would like to take one soon. I, I would like to take that, please. Actually, uh, you can't it. because yeah, you used no, your I reaction. Used it. I already used silvery barbs. Oh, yeah. shit. I just That's forget. Fine. Yep, yep. I just remember. I'm throwing advantage on myself. Um, so it, um, it, fly, yeah. it flies away. The second one is going to dive bomb towards... Yeah, it'll dive bomb towards uh, the rest of the party. Trist, Rogar, Velry, and Rezire. It's going to float 10 feet in the air above the four of you as it moves over. And as it does, it it like brings its limbs in and then bursts them outwards. And its wings stop fluttering for a moment. Everything goes silent for just a second from this creature. And then it bursts outwards. And as it does, a cacophonous wave of raw cyclical energy assaults the lot of you. I need all of you to make constitution saving throws. Mm. Mm. It's a fail from Rosire. Let's see here. Velry. I think and then God, Rogar. 28 Rogar? My god. 13 from <laughs> Trist. Nice. Um, let's see. The save is a yep. So it looks like Rosire and Trist are going to fail, unfortunately. Ta -da. Okay, so Trist and Rosire. For all intents and purposes, you are considered poisoned for the next minute. While poisoned in this way, at the start of your turns, you are going to take damage. You can then um, make the saving throw at the end of your turn. And the creature just just, just thrums there, uh, 10 feet above you. Which go is going to bring me to Rogar. It is your turn. <clears throat> I will bonus action rage, um, and I will give my um, my uh, what's it called? Your presence, inspiring presence. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> to um, Bellary. And, and Resire, of course. Oh, okay. I'm going to give it to Zoom. I feel like Zoom can use all the help <laughs> okay. Zoom can get. Whatever, whatever. So, uh, I'm going to give it to Zoom. Uh, so plus two on uh, attacks. And um, I need to fear that matters. Um, I'm going to uh, then... You said they're 10 feet above me. Mm -hmm. I would like to... Ugh, just out of range. I would like to... Lightning rifle. Okay. The, um, you bring up the rifle. The one that closest, yeah. All right, give me, give me a shot. All right. Uh, how many two charges? charges? Two charges. Two charges on first. All right. Twenty-two. That's definitely gonna hit. All right. So I'll do. Pow. Oh. Uh, that's sad. And then one more D ten. Six. So what was that altogether? Uh, fourteen altogether. Yeah. Lightning damage. All right, 14 points uh, of lightning damage. I will shoot again. Okay, shoot again. Uh, remaining, let's say, what is it, three charges? I can do up to five. Turn you can do up to five. Uh, up to, well, up to your intelligence bonus, whatever that is. Okay, okay. Then I'll do two more in this one. Okay. Um, ooh, that's a 91. That is going to miss <laughs> with the 10, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, that's one, all I can do. Yeah, the first one you you 
You you get a good arc on the rifle, you, and then you, it it slams into it, singeing some of its wings as it kind of like flutters. It's its voice wavering. Um, well, not so much its voice. It's like wings wavering for a moment. Um, as it does, the second bolt from the uh, from the rifle, the second blast of uh, of lightning just um, goes wide. All right, that is going to bring me then to the deep drow. Um, starting off with the uh, the assassin that moves forward. The assassin has it's the one that has extra arms underneath its torso. Um, it is going to run forward. Um, it will use its action to dash to cover the ground because they were around. What? Well, it doesn't have to. We said 30 feet. Mm. I mean, we said I said 30 feet, so yeah, 30. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to dash. But what it will do, it'll move forward, and it is going to attempt to hide with its bonus action. That is going to be a. Trist, what's your passive? 21. Nope. No fucking way. It can't hide from Trist. Um, is anybody's lower than a 10? I don't think they are. Everybody's is higher than that. I rolled a 1 on its stealth check. So it attempts to hide and everyone sees it. <laughs> um, it, it, it attempts to like like roll behind cover. And as it rolls, it looks like it it mis he it misjudged, and it kind of like knocks its cover over, um, and then it just kind of like stumbles up, brings a um, what can only be described as a it looks like it once was a crossbow, but it appears to be made out of living organic material now. Um, this black, almost amorphous like goo that has chitinous plates on it. And it raises the the crossbow, and it is going to take a shot at. Uh, it's going to take a shot at Trist. Damn it! Now Trist, you guys are behind at least half cover because you everyone took half cover, so you have a plus two to your AC right now. And my God, can I roll any worse tonight? It's going to be an eight to hit Trist. Yeah. That's going to miss. <laughs> Swing and a miss from the assassin. <laughs> and, it's a, and it's about 10 feet from you, Trist. Um, all right. That's all it can do. That will then bring me to the, uh, the deep captain. The leader kind of like begins barking out orders in a, in a, bastardization of elvish it's somewhat elvish but not really there's other words um shifted into it um and as it does it is going to cast his hand out and he is going to cast fairy fire on trist velry rogar and resire so i need all of you to make dexterity saving throws ah counter spell counter spell Counterspelling. All right, Trist. I'm as as you see it coming in, you use your reaction to unform the magic. As it is, and it's it's innately. It's all. What's strange about this is the magic is like welling up in his hand, and it almost looks like fireflies are literally ripping themselves out of his flesh and floating towards you. Um, but as you begin to unravel the weaves of magic around it, they just kind of like collapse and die before they before they venture off away from him. And he just kind of like looks towards you with his vacuous sockets and gla and you could assume he's glaring. And that's cool. it for his turn. The regular um, drow soldiers, there are eight of them. All of them are going to charge forward. Interestingly enough, the first two 
cast darkness on themselves as they form a dark bulb that just kind of like and takes up all the space in front of them obscuring the vision of all of you from the approaching drow at this point and they all are going to move in um, in your direction in complete darkness you get the idea that some of them can probably see uh, because they don't have eyes not all of them though so those first two drow are going to move up you're not exactly sure where they're at but the all of you are are um, blinded because you are cast into the darkness four of them can see and they are going to make melee attacks so I will get an attack against Trist, Rogar Velry and uh, Resire so the first one Rogar does have blind sense. Yeah, oh yes, sense. Rogar. So Rogar, you can sense them as they're moving in, so they do not have advantage. But you begin to sense these these creatures. You almost smell them coming in. All right, the one attacking you, Rogar. That is a sixteen to hit. Miss. Miss. All right, the one attacking Velry, at advantage. Twenty three to hit Velry. That hits. That hits. Bellary is only going to take four points of piercing damage, but she needs to make a constitution saving throw, and she better roll high. This is not one you want to fail. 27. Easily. Um, is not um, poisoned. All right. Trist. Natural 20 to hit Trist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, and I already holy used reaction. shit! Holy shit! Sorry, Trist. It's coming in. It's happening. Um, that is going to be not a lot of damage. Sixteen points of piercing damage. As, and you need to make a Constitution saving throw against poison. So if you have advantage on poison or anything, I, I don't. Fifteen. You you passed. You passed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That that would this it would have been bad. Trist, is it sli- you you feel it slice into you and you feel a vera poison begin to soak into your flesh. Um similar to the poison used by the Drow in Zune's yes. household. Um thank God you did not succumb to it. As it passes into you, you take no damage from that, but um you still are poisoned from the mm-hmm. cyclical attack. All right, and then the last one attacking Resire. Oh shit, that's gonna that might actually hit. He's got that's high a, AC. He does. This is a twenty-three to hit Resire. He might be he has a block a, it if he uses a shield. He, he's gonna use his reaction to use his Seeker Shield, uh, which raises his armor class to a twenty-five, <laughs> making it miss. <laughs> As he, as he instinctively feels it coming and it parries the blow, and as he parries the blow, he will get to make a attack. Um, you know what? He's not going to even make an attack. He is going to cast um, Sacred Flame. So the creature will make a dexterity saving throw. Which it fails miserably with a seven. Uh, so Resire is going to deal ten points of radiant damage. Uh, let's see. What <laughs> oh no, he gets to add his modifier to it too. That brings it to fourteen points of radiant damage. Um. None of you hear it. Well, now you, somebody hears it. You hear a screech of almost like a humanoid mixed with like a a strange like larynx voice as there is a flash of radiance that doesn't pierce the darkness. But um, Resire would feel a corpse fall to the ground next to him as he is destroyed mm-hmm. one of the uh, one of the soldiers instantaneously. All right, and that's it for their turns, because the other ones are taking up a different position. 
That brings me to Tristan Varel. At the start of your turn, Trist, mm-hmm. you are going to take 14 points of poison damage. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, so I picked her. I'm in like complete darkness because I got the guy on yes, me that like, cast darkness. Mm-hmm. Uh, You're in I, melee with somebody. Yes. I am going to cast Cone of Cold. Okay. Uh, okay. In the direction that I believe danger is coming from. Right. Um, I don't. Okay, I, I assume okay. it's going to catch somebody. Yeah, in my go party. ahead and uh, roll me a d6. Hopefully it's Rogar. Five. Damn, you are going to fuck up some people. Okay. All right. Cone of cold. Cone of I'm cold. Gonna, so I'm assuming you're aiming it at at least at the direction you were attacked from. Correct? Yes, where I felt so the like natural blasted, 20 come from. Blasted out that way. Yeah. All right. Um, what save is it? Con. Nine and uh, 20. Jesus, con, con save? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, all right. 39 points of cold damage. I don't I don't know if they can it, it's a DC 20? Yes. My god. I have a lot Fail. of things that boost my stuff. Fail. Fail. So those 3 are um how much damage is it? Did you roll it yet? 39. 30. Okay, yeah. So those 3 are instantly dead. Let's go ahead and yes. put them off the board. Frozen statues. Any oh, darkness go away? Um, not those ones, no, because they weren't okay. they weren't in that direction. So three of them are dead. Plus, I need to make it for these two. Fail, and does he have? He does have con saves, but he fails. So they're each going to take thirty nine points of cold damage. Holy shit! That's a game changer right there. All right, fuck them up real good. Darkness is still in place. However, mm-hmm. um, the guy in front of you is shattered as you, you instantly, yes. as the, the rift you open up in time that lances out this freezing blast of, of cold instantly shatters him. He's dispersed. You feel him. You feel like flakes of ice pelt your flesh as he is disintegrated before you. You also hear several just tinges of screams, and then I, that's it as many others have probably fallen in this process. Um, um, you can make your con save now yes, to try to like, not be poisoned any longer. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'll try it this round and see how it goes. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I failed. Uh, that's a nine. You still failed. So you were still next poisoned, round, unfortunately. Oh, damn it. All right. Next in initiative is Vellery. Oh. Uh... Valerie would like to rage. Valerie's going to go and rage. Yep. Um, Valerie would then like to... Try to jump uh, out of the darkness uh, and try to uh, latch onto that flying beetle-like thing. Okay. She can jump just naturally. Mm-hmm. Good jump. Uh, give me an attack roll at disadvantage. Okay. This will see if she can jump and then latch on and then like get out, like basically get out of the darkness and hit him. Okay. If I reckless, can I get roll a straight roll? God damn it. Sure, <laughs> why not? All right. I hate it, uh, I hate it so much. Unarmed, unarmed attack. Uh, claws here. 27. That definitely hits. God damn it. This Valerie launches herself just barely out of the precipice of the darkness, I might, might, might mind you. Um, somewhat half in it. Um, her black eyes. Um, yeah, black eyes. As she flies up towards the creature who is none the wary. Uh, she begins to true, rip into it. True vampire style, hissing all the way up, you know? Go, <laughs> you know, go, ahead, go ahead. Just make all of her attacks at this point. Okay. All right. Let's 
see. It has enough hit points that it should survive, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, natural 20. Oh, dear God. Yeah, it's dead. Do the next two. All right. I hate, I hate this so much. Uh, 27. And that's going to hit. Oh, another natural 20. My God. And one more. Oh. Another natural 20. Three natural 20s. <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> and one regular hit. <clears throat> and roll damage to the ah. regular hit first. Okay, regular hit. Here we go. You might destroy this thing. There's a good chance. Flat roll, okay. Here we go. It'll be seven plus... Plus her rage. Plus rage, plus my thing, so 12. 12. Four points of slashing damage to the first one. All right, now roll the next one, and we will double the damage. Let's okay. See how far this how far this rabbit hole goes. Oh wait, wait. She had you guys get um um what's it called? Brutal critical. That's that's true. So that's so go ahead and is it that's is additional? It, that's is it additional two D two? Yeah, so it would be additional. A D, or it'll be an additional two D six. Yeah. For so roll, crit, so roll, six, roll three D six plus her modifiers. Yeah. Okay. Let me just okay. count out how many D sixes that is. That's uh. So Thirty four of them. Six. Sixty six plus. Uh, that'd be nine D six. Plus, I don't. You don't add. You don't bonus the. Uh, I, five, what, the red what I what I've been doing is I've been um I've been doing just the roll um double and double in the roll. Oh, okay, so okay, well, let's see. If she well, let me put it like this: <laughs> We're, well, let's do each hit one at a time because if he kills this thing, she can move on to another creature. That's that's a good point. Good point. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just roll. 3d6 plus whatever. And then we'll double it. Yeah. yeah. 3d6. Uh, oh, that's a low roll. <laughs> that is a roll. Low roll. That's a very low roll. So, what was that? Uh, that's six. Six. Uh, double 12 plus another, plus another 10. So, um, 22. 22. 22 total. 22. Um, all right. All right. Here's another 36. Jesus. Uh, 14 so plus 10. 28. So, yeah. so, oh, yeah. so 20, 28 plus the 10 to so 38. Yeah. Dear God. Let's go and roll the next one. Rolling. Uh, <laughs> it's already enough. Nine. It's already Plus, enough. Okay. Okay. It's already enough. It's with three slices. <laughs> it already comes flying yeah, yeah. out of the darkness. You know what I'm that's, that's the best of our world. You know? I know. She runs. Kid, she, you know? she she comes flying out of the darkness, like plunges her hand like through its body in the first too. one, and then just starts hacking into it, two, and then just like bursts out of it. It just bursts into two different pieces. The thrumming stops immediately. And then she descends on one of the um, one of the drow that was standing back. Mm -hmm. It feebly raises its crossbow because they are ready their crossbows um, to attack the first creature they see. So three of them are going to attempt to shoot her. I don't think it's going to work. Or only actually, there's only one of them left because Trist killed the other three. Mm. They get advantage. Uh, He's gonna miss. He's gonna miss Bad, badly. He's he's he's, he's like, ah! and she falls down upon him and rips him asunder with uh, the oh, next man. attack. Oh so much damage! Okay, is that is going to just instantly kill him? <laughs> uh, yeah. So very, yeah. Once again, destroyed. <laughs> Got yes. it. Yes. All right. That's the end of Elry's turn. Then and she's like. Ah. <laughs> Just like you're covered in gold. No, she what she would do is she would take the blood and she would go. That's true. She'd yeah. lick lick the the disgusting 
elder yeah, core gross. blood. Yeah. It's gritty. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's, yeah. All right, that will bring me to uh, Razaya, who is going to take eight points of poison damage. He's not resistant, is he? No, he's not. Okay. All right, eight points of poison damage. Oh, Razaya, that hurts. Um, he is going to... Let's see here. What can he do? What can he do? Um, you're going to like this. Uh, he'll just do it at third level, because this is looking pretty. I mean, he only, he only uses lower slots anyway. Uh, for his action, Rezire is going to begin to chant to his maiden. And uh, spectral blades begin to materialize around him as he casts Spirit Guardians. And the individual with the uh, darkness up will have to make a wisdom save that he gets a natural one on. So he's going to fail miserably. Dealing 15 points of radiant damage, which is enough to slay um, that uh, particular drow. He's instantly ripped to pieces. As Rosire uh, casts that apart, darkness disappears on the right side of the battlefield. It just go, goes away. Um, he's in that as well as one other drow. No, no, no. The other one's not. However, Rosire will then use his movement to move forward. Or you know what? I'm playing Rosire today. I'm going to be intelligent. Rosire is going to rush towards the other orb of darkness. That is um, the two drow in there will have to make wisdom Spirit saves. Guardians. Fail and a fail. So all of them are instantly destroyed as they are ripped to pieces and cut to ribbons by radiant spectral blades um, hovering around Versire. They all just instantly <laughs> suddenly, Chris, you can see the yes. you can see the, the devastation that you had wrought yes. already as well as <laughs> the other people that are now uh, being cut to pieces. Soon suddenly you can see as well, seeing the, the, the one singular creature hovering I'm just slightly out of reach as Rosire comes up next to you. Rosire is here! And that is the end of Rosire's turn. He'll need to make a con save. One of me. One of me. Make a con save to try to... Nope, he fails. <laughs> With an 11, he's going to fail. So he is still poisoned. Is that plus one? He has a plus one to his con save. That's it. All right. That will bring me to the top of the round. We're only in the second round of combat. Zoom, you're at the top of the round. What the is battlefield left? is looking scarce. <laughs> the uh. There's one of the emissaries left, the one that tried to tempt you off the edge. Um, mm -hmm. There's also the Deep Drow Assassin and the Deep Drow Captain. Both of them, oh, yeah. it looks like, are half frozen as they were caught in the Cone of Cold and they are super fucked up. The emissary okay. looks like it's in perfect condition. Mm. And Valerie, she's going after the emissaries, right? Or is this... uh, Valerie looks like what well, she was moving towards the the drow. She was ripping into them. The emissary is over mm -hmm. the edge of the chasm, floating in the air. Okay. All right, then I am going to back away from the edge. Um. And let's go ahead and I'm. Ugh, I can't waste my spell slots. So I'm just going to throw Eldritch Blast at the Emissary. Okay. Um, I get a plus two thanks to Rogar, correct? Actually, this one did not. This one moved in. It moved above you. It doesn't matter. It's it's all it, the same. Yeah, it's it back to Lake as she couldn't use her reaction, so. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Eldritch Blast, go ahead and make your attack rolls. It's plus, right, this... plus, plus two damage as well. Yeah. Plus two damage as well. That's very nice. Plus okay. Plus two attack but and damage. You said it moved in. How close is it to me? Uh, it's not within five feet. It's going to be within... Okay. So it only moved ten feet up away from you. That's all it could move. Okay. I'm backing away from it as well. Um, okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Ooh. One. So 27 plus two. 
That will definitely hit. And I'm just going to roll the hits. Yeah. Um, 27 again, Ten, plus two. Hit. Mm-hmm. And a natural 20. Oh, so, all three hits. Yay. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll damage for the first two, and then we'll do the um, crit last. Um, so that's 15 plus two, so 17. Uh, plus four, because it's two hits. So, mm-hmm. 15, so 19. 19 points of force damage. And then go ahead and roll the next one, and we'll double it. Wait a minute. That was one That was one hit. Um, Eldritch Blast is 1d10. Normally. It says 2d10. Mm. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Maybe my stuff's screwed up. I think uh, it's, one, it's 1d10 per blast. It's because mm. it's because the natural 20, it doubled that roll. Yeah, oh, it, doubled, it, it, it just actually doubled it. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. okay. When you roll a natural... Yeah, when you roll a natural 20 on the app, the app, it yeah, the, automatically, the app all, oh. automatically doubles it. Okay, then so, yeah. do we want to just... Scrap. No, that, that we'll right. count that as the as the the first the seven two and the eight. Yeah, so just go and roll roll one more single dice now. Well, it it does say two d ten under the effect. Yeah. That's because it it critted. Did you already roll that? I already rolled it. I hit it's it still, once. It's still up. It still says two d ten. Okay, that's weird. Are, you, are we D-10. sure it's still two d ten? Um. It should be a D10. It should be 1D10. Yeah, it does say 1D10. Okay, three beams. You can right-click the damage, and then you can pick... Ignore uh, that. You can pick Um, single, and then double that. Right-click damage. Yeah, okay, fine. Ignore what I just rolled. I'm just gonna... Yeah, single D10. It should should be zeroed out now, (laughs) so you should be able to roll it. It's not. It still says utility 2D10. Okay, that's so, okay. I'll fix, uh, I'll fix it later. Be, that must okay. be a glitch. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, one. Oh. oh. So it's it's gonna be four what? points total. Okay, so four points total, and then my second one is eight. Okay. Plus four, you plus, said. Plus, plus two. two. Yeah. Plus your two. Okay. All right. There we and go. And then the third one. We've done them all already. You, we did. We did damage for the okay. other one already. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, Dear God. so quite a bit though. Um, that's yeah. just your action. You still have a bonus action if you'd like to do anything. I else. would like to heal. I would like to heal, please. Um, I'm going to okay. use a potion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, regular. I think greater, that's all I have. I don't think regular, I have a regular. Regular are ten points as you. You just you yeah. just heal for ten. Yep. That's. I, I need something. All right. Desperately. All right, Zune. It is now the deep draw emissary's turn. Let me see if he gets his alluring thumb thrum black back. I he did not back away from the edge. Thank God. He did, he did not get it back. Um, however, uh, seeing the nature of the battlefield at its state, it is going to fly sixty feet in the opposite direction of you, of all of you, just the direction it came from. And it's going to use its action to dash and move another 60. It moves 120 feet away. It's rapidly flying away. The chanting slightly changes, um, Trist, as it's moving away. You hear it say, must report, must report. All right, that is going to bring me to Rogar. Sorry, uh, Rogar is going to uh, run up and mm-hmm. take a pot shot with his lightning rifle against that thing that's running away. Okay, it's a hundred and twenty feet. Can you still make the shot? Lightning rifle is 150. Oh, make the shot. shit. He's got it. Go ahead and make the shot. Give me give me an attack right. roll. Here we go. 20. Not natural. Regular 20. 20, hit. 20 hits. Mm, let's do right one shot on that one. So that'll be 12. Four points of lightning damage. And then we'll dump the 
the rest of the four into the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and do it. Fifteen? Fifteen is a glancing blow, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Well, at least a hit. That's 12 plus 11. So Oof. half of that. So that would be 23 half. 23 half to 11. Just, yeah. Um, yeah. It looks bloodied. It. Um, it's singed. It's kind of like dips low for a second, but it's still it's still um, aerial, still flying. They so can be a uh, Farogar. Yeah, unless someone's close enough to me where I can give them an old fashioned breath attack. Uh, what's the range on yours now? Give them an old fashioned. It's, it's, uh, an, it's old-fashioned. increased to thirty, right? Uh, it is thirty feet. You you could you could hit, um, and it's a cone. You no, no, sorry. It's it's fifteen. I forgot that it doesn't change it on this. So it's fifteen, I think. Okay. Right. Do you have hi- do you have heightened breath yet? Yeah. No, I get the next level. Next level. Next okay. level. It, right. Next ne- level. Next level. level. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. With with fifteen, you could hit one of them if you'd like. Okay. Either I'll do that. The, Any of it could. It's either the captain or the assassin, whichever one you want to choose. I'll go for the assassin. Okay. Yeah. Seems you know he's. He's real good at deck saves. Let's go ahead and have him make one. And can I make a 19? That's going to be a 25. Oh! And he's going to use his... He's going to use his evasion to take no damage. Rogar. (laughs) It's you! You, And he nimbly uh, dives out of of the way. Takes no damage. That bastard! I know. Alright. Sorry. That's all I can do. Uh, It is now the assassin's turn. The assassin is um, not looking good. God, what can he do? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what he's going to do. The assassin is going to use his action to cast Levitate on some of the debris clogging a doorway of one of the nearby buildings. He moves over and he incants a spell. As he opens it up, he watches this massive chunk of debris just lifts, revealing an open doorway. He's going to use his movement to run inside. Ah, ah. And then with his free action, he's going to drop the debris behind him, clogging the doorway. And that's it for his turn. The captain is in a bad place as he he can tell that his men are all dead. Um, let's see here. Does he have one on him? Did I give him one? I gotta check my notes. I did. I gave him one. He is going to um, reach down into a satchel on his waist. And you see a almost like black uh, goo-like material that is moving around his palm. And he is going to... Um, shove it into the open wounds left after the cone of coal that ripped open some of his flesh. He, ah, and as he does, you watch as in a rapid, um, almost like rapid time lapse event, he doubles over and begins to scream as his body begins to twist and morph. And within moments, he watches his head kind of like explodes off of his torso and a a head identical to one of the emissaries emerges 
Um, his two limbs begin to disjoint out as you witness the birth of a deep emissary in rapid succession. And that's all he can do currently. That's his turn. As he's just kind of like there, his wings aren't even moving yet. Um, he's still kind of like curled up, all fucked up. All right. That will then bring me to... Nope, everyone else is dead. Uh, Tristan Farrell, you are going to take... 18 yeah, points of poison uh, damage. God. So you are still poisoned, Trist. I know. <laughs> you are... I was hoping I could beat it on that last one. You're like, oh. <sighs> you feel it. I start coughing. Uh, okay, so there's one bug. There's two now. Oh, um, yes, because the one because... with Zune is still there. Yeah, the one with the one that uh, is trying to flee is still yes. it's 120 feet away, and then yes. there is the reemergence of as the captain. Yes. It seems like sacrificed some uh, part of himself to turn into yes. this. I just, I just witnessed evolution happen. You did it was disturbing. Um. Okay. Well, we're gonna see if Bugman likes lightning, so I'm gonna hit him with a. Fourth level lightning bolt. Uh, which which one are we talking here? Which the which... um the, the guy that just re rebirthed himself into a bug. Okay, okay. And then I will step on him like a descending. Beast. <laughs> All right, a deck save. Deck save. Uh, he gets advantage. That's low as. But okay. it's still it's still only uh fifteen he fails. He fails twenty six. Twenty six points of lightning damage kind of like um, scar across him <laughs> as and, it kind of like screeches out uh, I'm going to have to take that elixir of health okay I only had one alright alright you going to cure your poison condition cure the poison okay that's fair that will then bring me to Velry Uh, Bowie will turn on the newly formed insect mm -hmm. and attack. Give me uh, recklessly. There's one is going to hit. There's two. That's going to hit as well. There's three. Uh, 29 will hit, dear lord. And the last one. Here comes. Another hit. So all four hits. I think you can roll 4d6 and then we add 40 to it. I think that's yep. not what we've been doing. Yeah. Oh my god. Three. One, two, three, four. Not too bad. 14. 54. Points of, of slashing damage as Velry just descends on this creature, just slashing into him. It, it, the creature begins to like backpedal, just getting piece of it's ripped off. One of its arms is ripped off. Um, it looks really, really hurt badly. Uh, is that gonna be it for Velry's turn? Uh, I think that's pretty much all she can do. Okay, yeah, that's all she can do. do. Resire then, who's going to take. Eight points of poison damage, because he is still poisoned. He goes, ah! On the me, we can't let it escape! And he is going to... We saw Spirit Guardians up, so he's going to get a double whammy here. Um, he is going to cast... Guiding Bolt at the fleeing creature, because it has 120 foot range. That is going to be a hit. It's going to take 29 points of damage. As you watch as Resire walks forward, 
Um, I do need to make a wisdom save for the for the other emissary, which it gets a natural one. It fails. So from Resire's other spell that's up, it is going to take. Uh, where are you, Spirit Guardians? Eight points of radiant damage. It looks even more messed up as these blades rip into it. But the one that was fleeing is hit with almost a radiant like lance that forms as Resire like casts his spell. It flies through the air, almost like a sniper shot. Kind of like aims it up, letting gravity take it. Right at the tail end, spears through the creature, and you just hear a resounding impact. The chanting stops instantaneously as the creature begins to burn and falls to the ground dead. And Rosaire says, Yes, this is for the lady! That's the end of his turn. Um, he will need to make a constitution saving throw to not be poisoned. He fails. He's still poisoned. He is getting ate up by the poison. All right, that will bring me to top of the round. Zoom! There is one yeah. visible creature. What would you like to do, Zoom? And the other one ran into a building and dropped. For all sense of purposes, um, barricaded itself at one of the destroyed buildings nearby. I can't get out. The one in front of us looks pretty badly hurt. Uh, Velry is savagely ripping it to pieces right now. It's currently like engaged with her, trying to f- fend her off. Mm. Does, anyone want dim- quite short. <laughs> Does anyone want a dimension door into the other room? <laughs> you could always try. I was curious. Well, I mean, I'm not going in there by myself, and I doubt Trist and I are the ones to go in there, so it'd be like a Rogar <laughs> situation. No, Rogar, no. Like Rogar, Rogar or Valerie, whoever you were, want to grab? Yeah, if you want to take Valerie's Valerie busy. away from her meal, you go ahead no, and I see how she. She's earned <laughs> this. You know? <laughs> she's got this. I'm going to dimension door Rogar into. Okay. You know, surprise, yes. motherfucker! You know, just. Yes. Surprise, okay. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so you grab a hold of Rogar. Yeah. You catch your interdimensional spell. Roll me a d100, Zoom. Oh, fuck, I forgot oh. about this. This will be interesting. <laughs> da, 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 da. Let's see what happens. Higher is better. 68. Oh, so close. Let me see. It's I hope higher it was better. I don't was it a 68? I, it's not rolling. It was mind. a 68. It's a 68? Okay. With that, um, Zoom, you you open the, the rift between dimensions. Mm-hmm grabbing hold of Rogar as your sonorous tones um, literally uh, warp the fabric of reality. As the two of you pass through, you feel a presence. Mm. A presence that is all-knowing and all-encompassing within its realm. As you slip through unscathed, however... You feel a gaze upon you. And you almost feel like you get a chill down your spine as if something is noticed. But you appear within the destroyed building as you poof into into existence with Rogar. The assassin is looking backwards. He just turns and then hears the the thrum of the magic opened up and turns around Rawr! as he screams out as the two of you appear in front of him. Um, is that going to be it for you soon? Uh, bonus action, going to slap myself with my other healing potion. Sure, why not? I, I feel like this is going to import... No, you know what? Bonus action, going to smack Rogar with a uh, bardic inspiration and pray that doesn't Bart bite me in the ass. Yeah. Okay. All right. That will then bring me to the new emissary that is currently being savaged by Velry. Um, the emissary is going to use. Well, well, let me see. He might have it. 
Let me see if he's got it. Got it. Sweet. He's going to open up his tattered wings and emit a thrum of of cacophonous energy. Tattered wings and fly away. So, Trist, you get advantage on this save, and I need Rogar, Rosire, and Velry to make a constitution saving throw. Can Rogar hear it from within the building? Oh, no, no, Ro- Rogar can't. Sorry. Rosire, Trist, and Velry. Ah, oh, you passed. Uh, Rosire passed. Velry passed. How'd you do, Trist? You get advantage. 17? Trist. 17 passed. All of you pass as the thrum does not take hold. It does not allure you to the creature's um, presence as you get the idea that it can do more than just simply make you walk towards it. However, all of you seasoned veterans, adventurers at this point, able to withstand its uh, its cause, the creature begins to try to back away from Velry and it can't. So that's going to be it for its turn. That will bring me to Rogar. It is your turn. You're looking at the assassin. I will um, attack him with the deep cleaver, uh, recklessly. You mean attack him? Um, I'm gonna do great web master as well. Sure, but why not? It's, why not? It's, it's feeling uh, itself. I feel lucky. Ah, uh, so that's inspired. A, that's a fourteen. Fourteen. Four, uh, yeah, fourteen. Uh, I'll throw in my deep inspiration. Yeah, my go, inspiration. Go, and get your, go and get your inspiration. Roll one on it. Eight. 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 That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Ooh, baby. Uh, roll, roll, uh, go and roll your damage. All right. That'd be 12 plus 10, 22, plus another 30, 25. 25 points of damage. Severely wounded, Rogar, but somehow still up. As Rogar <laughs> <laughs> ah, slices into him. <laughs> I'm going again. Recklessly. I'm not going to do the, the Great White Master this time. Week. 26. Should have went reckless. Should have went great weapon master. Uh, 19 points of damage. 19 Real points high. of damage. How would you like to do this, Rogar? Uh, just uh, just a, 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 a nice clean cut off of the head. It's, it's always decapitation with you guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe a disemboweling. I don't know. Disembowel. Oh, we haven't good. We haven't had a good disembowel in a while. You know. He slept. <laughs> The first slice slices like into the shoulder area, ah, cleave down. He's like, ah, you pull free, and he moves to. He he tries to move, and as you shift your weight, you just shift the cleaver down the, at a downward angle, slicing him across. And as it does, it hooks into his guts, spilling out his intestines onto the ground as he collapses dead before you. There was something writhing and wriggling within his body that begins to move and jitter as he dies. Mm. That's it for Rogar's turn. Yeah. That's going to bring me to uh, Tristan Varel, who is cured from his poison. Yes. Okay. Uh, How's this guy looking? He's trying to fly away. He looks really bad. He can't get away from Velrity. All right, well, we're going to try fire this time. I'm going to do a little firebolt. Okay. You move over to try and get a good angle. Go ahead and give me an attack roll. 18? That hits. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, a 17 fire damage. How would you like to do this, Trist? Yes! As, as Valerie's about to go in for the, <laughs> the final blow. Yeah, she's about to kill it. Uh-uh-uh. And then I quickly shoot out just like little, and, you know, catches it and just engulfs the creature in flame. <laughs> As you literally steal her kill uh, that she was going to make, My the time. the creatures writhe in flame. Its wings burst, igniting. Um, Velry kind of like backs away from the fire. She probably hisses at you as well, Trist. As the creature stumbles backwards, falls to the ground, smoldering. That's what we're going to take our first break. 